This is Randy Thompson coming to you live with Trudy Adams, and Trudy just asked me the question of where her shoulders should be with her riding position, so we're going in a little bit of a different direction yet. The easiest way for you to know if your shoulders are in the right place is to imagine that you have an eye in between your chest and the middle of it, and whichever direction you're going, that eye should be looking, looking towards that direction, like here she's coming around the corner, She's doing a circle, so she should be pointing the middle of her chest towards the quarter point of the next circle. Good. Turn your chest more. Notice I didn't say anything about your arms or anything. Good. And this is Trudy Adams. She's on Annie, her 10-year-old mare. And uh, she's raised and pretty much trained her all the way. Annie's now starting to compete in training level dressage. Good. Keep her more active. And you're just playing with feeling what you're doing with your chest right now. You'll notice it puts you on your inside seat bone different, doesn't it? Most riders do fall to the outside. She said she thinks she's falling out in this direction, right? Yep, point the front of your chest in. And then make sure you're looking between her ears so she has the right bend. So you're going to just playing with what's in front of the saddle right now and your upper body. So turn your chest in, make sure you can see between her ears, then you'll know she's on the right bend. Add the activity. That's it, add the activity. Good, do a couple the other direction, and then we're gonna try just a little bit at the trot before we go into the canter, all right? Take your time. What does this make you do? So she said that it's making her feel more of what she's doing with her upper body. And uh, as you've noticed, when we're training the riders, they focus on their riding position, not so much on what's happening with the horse. And now we're starting to combine the two together. And he's just now starting to go into the connection stage where she's staying on the bit, on the aids, uh, in the front of the aids, the beginning of self-carriage, coming through, all that other kind of good stuff. So what you're seeing is a horse that's going from the process of being a green horse, we call it green as far as training, where they're not connected from the rider's seat and legs up into the rein, into a more training level horse where she's allowing the connection and starting to come through in self-carriage. Good, Trudy. Yep, where's your, where's your chest? Remember that eye. Now try it at the trot and see what it feels like at the trot. And he says it was easier at the walk. <laughs> That's it. Keep your hands by the neck. Keep your hands by the neck. Remember, keep your hands by the neck. Okay, now start doing serpentines and just feel what's happening with your shoulders. Point your chest in the direction you want to go. Bring her shoulders over by looking between her ears. Yep, point your chest where you want to go. Bring her shoulder over with your, yep, can you see through her ears? So every quarter line, you've got to bring her nose over a lot more if you're looking through her ears, her shoulder, I should say. That's right. So, yep. See if you can get her to go on the outside rein and leg a little bit here. I know you're working on your position, but it's time now to be able to add your position to what she's doing with her position. So ask her to step up into the outside rein. Bring her shoulder over until you can see between her ears as you bring your chest to the inside of the point your chest, that eye in the middle of your chest, in the direction that you want to go. You can see more of Trudy and Annie's progress by going to our YouTube channel, Randy Thompson Live at YouTube and you can see their training videos from the last four years to see how they got to where they are today. Good, good. Soften the outside rain a little. I know it's hard because she's just warming up at the canter. Good. Where's your chest? And she goes into a little bit of a two-point canter here which is normal. You know if I'm riding a green horse or a horse learning how to canter I try to stay off their back as much as I can. It makes it more comfortable for the horse as they're learning the progress. Good. Where's her big yeah, Look through her ears. Can you see the bend? So we're looking at the bend from the front of the saddle. The rider should see between the horse's ears. And Trudy's now working on making sure that her chest, lift up your chest, is looking in the direction of her turn. Good. Look between her ears. Ask her to stretch. Good. 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 That's all right. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. That's right, so Annie, Annie failed to drop the reins and she just decided that it was a good excuse for her to be able to uh, 
catch her breath, so you saw that Annie just dropped behind the aids. But that's what they do. Good. I'm gonna walk out here and see what Trudy's feeling with this. So what are you feeling different with this exercise where you're watching where you're putting your chest? What is that doing for you? Let me get up here a little closer. Alright. You know, balanced in the saddle instead of leaning one way or the other. And I, I know to the left, I saw it on a video. Yes. And I could see I was just sort of dropping and leaning to the left when she was going left, which is not what you mean when you say put the weight into your left hip bone. That's I right. I was falling to the left. So you could keep, and when you're falling to the left, that's so typical. This, and uh -huh. this shoulder was forward and this that's right. was back, which I was making it impossible for her to keep the left canter leg. Well, it was hard because she's still learning how to canter and balance, so it's kind of a catch-22. So I guess to the right... I'm sitting more correctly because I have an easier time. That's right. Asking her to stay balanced, stay connected, and I don't think that I'm falling to the right. Maybe, maybe I'm not always in the right position up here, this away, but I'm not doing that. That's right. But I was doing that. Yeah, at one time, and, and that I was that I... was you just trying to keep your weight over your in, your left seat bone. Yeah. Sounds so simple, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Take a walk break, cool yourself out. That was great, Trudy. Again, you can subscribe to this YouTube channel, Randy Thompson Live.